Joshua can dispel. Oh! How in the did we end up here? I can't even compare this to the Fury fight, right? This wasn't a controversial split decision. Francis, you got knocked the f out. Hey, yo, bro. On a serious note, though, the whole point of this video is I want to cover how we ended up here. How did Francis Ngannou go from being one of the most prolific UFC fighters ever, former UFC heavyweight champion, to fighting boxers and not just like influencer boxers fighting the best boxers on the planet right now before we get into the video though you might have noticed this in my banner if you hit that subscribe button at 10,000 subscribers i will be getting this paul pugba haircut if you guys want me to get that haircut and be a social pariah for four weeks while my hair grows back hit that subscribe button where did it go wrong for the mighty beast the predator francis and Ganu. Anthony Joshua and Francis and Ganu went toe to toe in the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Now, everything sports just seems to be happening down in Saudi right now. This just happened right now while I'm recording this video. But in this mighty bout, Joshua did everything in his power to dictate the tempo of this match, which wasn't that shocking if we get further into the video, but still, it was a very interesting dynamic to see Nganu in. Couple jabs in, and towards the end of the first round, we started to witness a dizzy Francis Nganu. The biggest takeaway from this match is the heart, love, courage, and pride that Francis Nganu shows in that ring. Despite being clearly outclassed, he's closing the gap on Anthony Joshua, getting up and close, allowing himself to get pummeled just to try to sneak that shot in. And that is a courageous trait that not many fighters overall can handle. But this heat and confidence would eventually lead to the downfall of Nganu in this match, as earlier into the second round, we start to see him getting knocked dizzy once again. AJ knocks him down, knocks him dizzy, and Ganu survives the referee count just for him to get knocked out cold towards the end of the second round. This is Nganu's second boxing loss. But you probably asked yourself this question so far. Why is the former UFC heavyweight champion in a boxing ring? That's the point of this video. We're going to walk through Francis Ngannou's journey and see how he ended up here. A bit of background on Francis Ngannou. He's not actually from Las Vegas, despite being billed to fight out of Las Vegas, but his origin story does play a major role in how he ended up here. Born in 1986, Francis Ngannou is from a village in Cameroon known as Beiti. Now, of course, if there's anyone from Cameroon in my audience watching this and I completely butchered that name, please correct me, okay? Now, given his background, this was not an easy life for Francis to live. He had a very rough upbringing fighting his way out of poverty. Now, from a young age, all of the local gangs would try to recruit Francis to come and join them. Now, this is because there was a reputation following around his name for being a street fighter, but it wasn't because of him. It was because his father was a well-known fighter back in the day. Because of this reputation, they all wanted Francis to join them, but he saw a different way out for this talent and reputation that he inherited. And Ganu took this skill that he inherited from his father, and he became a boxer. You heard that correctly. Yes, this is not his first time in a boxing ring now, is it? He initially started his combat journey wanting to become a boxer. Now, of course, with the background that he had and the priorities he probably had to take care of in addition to that, at the age of 22, Francis went all in on boxing, despite not having any family support with this decision. However, his boxing journey would end one year into his training as he fell ill. You don't become the UFC heavyweight champion by not taking risks. So this was not the end of the journey for Francis and Ngannou. At age 26, he bet on himself and he moved to France. Now, while in Paris, he actually managed to find a coach who would let him train for free. And it was this coach and another trainer that looked at Francis and saw the potential for a future MMA champion. This was the birth of the Predator. Francis Ngannou. Now we are at the point of Ngannou's MMA career. He began his professional MMA career with a company known as 100% Fight. Not 99, not 98. 100% Fight. 
Before officially gracing the UFC stage, he accumulated a record of 5 wins and 1 loss. In his first very ever match under Dana White, he won via knockout against Luis Enrique. I don't know why he's knocking out the former manager of Barcelona, but hey, when you're that big, you can kind of just do whatever you want. He topped his debut match by getting a TKO against Curtis Blades. A TKO due to Dr. Stoppage. The Predator is here. In 2021, he crowned himself UFC Heavyweight Champion, taking the Performance of the Night Award and taking a victory against Stipe Mikocic. Francis Ngannou has etched himself into history forever this night. This was not all sunshine and rainbows though, as Francis Ngannou left the UFC an unrestricted free agent in 2023. Now an unrestricted free agent, there was always something burning inside of his heart, and it was his love for boxing. And he expressed his gratitude and desire to go against the best fighters in the world. And he made this come true as he booked a match, and it came down to a very close decision against Tyson Fury. He never really fully left MMA as he signed a contract with the Professional Fighters League, but this contract did allow him to explore other ventures such as boxing while being active. The return to boxing. We're not going to fully cover the Anthony Joshua fight again since we went into good detail with it earlier. So this section of the video is dedicated to his return to boxing in his match against Tyson Fury. He made his return to the ring in the battle of the baddest in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Does that city sound familiar to you? Muchas gracias, afición. Este para vosotros. Sí! Right there in Cristiano Ronaldo's new hometown, and Ganu lost by a controversial split decision. After this match, Nganu was ranked number 10 by the WBC. And the very second time he gets back in the boxing ring, he squares up against Anthony Joshua. This guy does not fear anything. And after that match against AJ, he is now with the professional record of 0-2 in boxing. The intention of this video originally was to see how the mighty have fallen. How Francis Ngannou, one of the most menacing individuals in the UFC, and to be frank, on the planet, has fallen. But after looking through his journey, has he actually fallen? He achieved the pinnacle of success in his MMA career, being the face of his company as the UFC heavyweight champion. And after achieving this golden success, he got to pursue his passion. He got in the ring with some of the best heavyweights in the world. And he's having fun, he's getting paid, he's doing what he loves. Is this really a failure for him? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This has been the rise of Francis Ngannou, the Predator.